The blue screen of death, or BSOD, is always an unwelcome sight. Fortunately, however, modern computers can easily recover from this and automatically repair themselves. But for those of you guys who repeatedly experience a blue screen of death, what are some probable causes and solutions? And first of all, what even is the blue screen of death? Welcome to Hardy's Hobbies. Yesterday, we covered the blue light that is emitted from your devices and busted a myth that it is actually bad for your eyes. Today, we're taking a look at a completely blue screen with an error message. Blue screens of death are full screen errors which are usually displayed after serious system crashes. If you have Windows 7 or lower, these actually look fatal. If you have Windows 8 or 10, however, it is much more user friendly. A BSOD or blue screen of death is actually just a popularized name for a stop message or stop error. Blue screens of death usually freeze the computer and require a reboot in an effort to prevent any further damage from occurring. When a blue screen of death occurs, Windows automatically creates a mini dump file and saves it to your disk. If you take a look at these files, then you may be able to identify the cause of the blue screen of death. Blue screens of death are typically caused by system hardware, temperature, timing, resources, corrupt registries, or viruses. Here are the four most common error codes, what they mean, and what you can do to prevent them in the future. The first error message is IRQL, not less or equal. This generally means that there may be some improperly installed drivers for something you bought recently. For example, if you recently got some new headphones, keyboards, or pretty much any peripherals, then they probably have some drivers going along with them. If you don't remember installing any drivers recently, then the next time that the blue screen of death happens, you can actually look at the bottom of the blue screen of death and identify what it is. For instance, if it says nv4 underscore disp dot dll, then this would represent a video card error. If you recently made a GPU switch, then this issue can easily be solved by making sure that you have the correct drivers and are up to date. The next issue, data bus error, is one of the easiest ones to diagnose because it is almost always related to the RAM sticks. If you recently got these RAM sticks, then make sure that they are compatible with your motherboard and plugged into the right slots. Furthermore, if you were overclocking or changing the timings, then it may be best to reset it to default, at least for now, because your timings may be too aggressive. Unfortunately, if none of these issues apply to you, then it may just be due to bad RAM sticks, NTFS file system, or FAT file system. If you get this error message, and make sure to back up the most important files from your main OS drive as quickly as possible because your SSD or hard drive may be on its last leg. It may be as simple as a loose SATA cable, so make sure to check that first. If that is securely connected, then you probably want to run check disk. You can easily do this by opening up command prompt and typing in chk dsk forward slash f forward slash r. And finally, if you see the error message, unexpected kernel mode trap, then it may be due to a couple of issues. This is most common for CPU overclockers, but can also appear due to bad RAM or corrupted BIOS. If you recently increased the frequency of your CPU, then this issue can easily be solved by just taking it back a little bit. If that is not the problem, then to further isolate the issue, then run memtest86 on your RAM sticks to check if that is the issue and try updating your BIOS. Finally, while this is very uncommon, if none of this worked, then it may just mean a bad CPU. As a bonus, here are some quick overviews of some other error messages. Page fault in non-paged area is usually caused by faulty hardware such as RAM. Inaccessible boot drive is usually caused by a boot sector virus or improper IDE controller drives. Video driver INIT is usually caused by the wrong drivers installed for your video card. Bad pool color is usually caused by incompatible hardware drivers and is common when updating Windows. Pen list corrupt is usually caused by faulty RAM. And finally, machine check exception is usually caused by an issue with the CPU. If you ever run into a BSOD, then don't panic. Most BSODs are caused by software related issues and modern computers can fix them automatically. However, if you repeatedly face BSODs, here's a quick guide for action. Use system restore, scan for malware, install updated drivers, boot into safe mode, or finally reinstall Windows. If none of these work, then I hate to say it, but it may just be a hardware issue. But let's hope it's not. So is there something crucial that I missed about BSODs? Make sure to comment that down below. 
Also, if you guys find this video to be helpful, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you like to see more videos just like this one every single day. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.